When you think of someone like Superman, he doesn't need anything to augment his powers. But there are plenty of folks zipping around the DC universe in need of a little something extra. Batman has his utility belt and the Flash has his ring, which is certainly useful. But when you look deeper into the DC universe, you'll find far more weaponry spread about. When it comes to the weapons in the DC universe with considerable power, there are plenty to choose from. They may not have an infinity gauntlet like the folks over at Marvel, but that doesn't mean DC's arsenal of weapons, devices, and complex machines aren't heavy hitters in the realm of comics. So, I'm Yoon from What Culture Comics, and here are the 10 most powerful weapons in DC history. Number 10, the Cosmic Staff. The Cosmic Staff may sound like something crafted deep within the darkest reaches of space, but it originated right here on planet Earth. It was originally constructed by Ted Knight, otherwise known as Starman, who served on the Justice Society of America. It is most commonly associated with Courtney Whitmore, the superhero known as Stargirl, who also served on the team. The Staff has the ability to absorb solar energy from all the stars in the universe, not just the sun, and convert it into a form of malleable energy, which has a ton of uses. It can create force fields, shoot energy blasts, create energy constructs, and enable its wielder to fly. Number 9, Kaji Da. Kaji Da is a scarab, which was sent to Earth by an alien race known as the Reach. It is one of many living computers sent across the galaxy to find planets with capable species it could bond itself to, and make into a shock troop for a future invasion. Where my young Justice fans at? When Kaji Da arrived on Earth in ancient Egypt, it was purified by mystical energies and had its programming altered so that it no longer served the Reach. After a great deal of time, it was found by Jaime Reyes and it bonded with its new host in such a way as to endow all the powers of the Reach upon the human, thus making Reyes the Blue Beetle. As the Blue Beetle, Reyes can fly, has incredibly tough armor and malleable limbs. He can also heal from just about anything, absorb energy and fire off self-made projectiles. This version of the Blue Beetle is the third one in existence, having retconned the original origin story just a little bit, but its power is arguably much greater now that it has a sinister alien origin. Number 8, Mother Boxes. As an integral tool found on New Genesis, Mother Boxes are living computers holding vast capabilities even their creators don't fully understand. When used, they create a mystical link with their operators, essentially bonding with them for life. They have the ability to augment a person's organic matter with a variety of technological components, can grant the ability to create boom tubes, offer telepathy, technokinesis, flight, and the ability to manipulate various forms of matter and energy. Mother Boxes also have the ability to keep their hosts alive by manipulating their life force. It will self-destruct when its owner dies. Usually, this is prevented as it can heal all wounds and maintain a person's psyche amidst the most horrific trauma. Number 7, the Trident of Neptune. In the DC Universe, there exists a trident which resembles the same weapon carried by the Roman god Neptune. Unlike Roman mythology, which is just ripped off from Greek mythology anyway, but who cares, the trident found within the pages of DC Comics is far more powerful than any old giant seafood fork. It has quite a lot of power. The trident of Neptune is passed down the royal lineage of Atlantis, which is why it is currently in the hands of Aquaman. In some ways, it's a symbol of his status, similar to a crown. In other ways, it's a source of immense aquatic power. The trident of Neptune's primary purpose is to manipulate all forms of water. It can be used to redirect the flow of ocean currents at will and can create giant waves, riptides, or whatever Aquaman chooses. It's also an effective weapon capable of cutting through more substances in the DC universe. It can shoot electric energy blasts, control the weather thanks to its water manipulation abilities, and alter organic matter. But do you know what the trident of Neptune can't do? Make Aquaman look cool as fuuuuh, like like the harpoon hand. Look at it, it's cool. Number six, the Miracle Machine. The Miracle Machine was, I mean will, be created in the 31st century so that it can be used to achieve the impossible. It has the ability to transform a person's thoughts into reality. While that sounds like a pretty nifty toy just about everyone wouldn't mind getting their hands on, it happens to be incredibly dangerous. Human intellect is so varied and nebulous in thought that even a stray idea while using the machine could result in catastrophic results, dooming all of reality to whatever wanders into a person's mind. It has only rarely seen use by the heroes of the age. 
Siege, the Legion of Superheroes. Recently, it was used during the events of Final Crisis when Superman was pulled into the future to deal with Superboy Prime and Darkseid. He was able to use it safely to stop both threats without destroying all of existence. And I say recently, that story is 10 years old, dear god. Number 5. War World War World is pretty much what it sounds like. A small moon, no, a space station, designed for war. It was developed by a long deceased race of aliens who engineered it with a dangerous psychic steering mechanism, which ended up killing all of them. Eventually, it fell into the hands of the villainous Mongol, who realized the space station's potential to wreak havoc among the cosmos and commandeered it. War World is said to be larger in size to a dwarf star and not a ripoff of the Death Star. It has guns powerful enough to destroy an entire planet and is one of the most dangerous single object slash weapon platforms in the DC universe. Due to its massive size, defensive capabilities, and having Mongol at the wheel, it often takes Superman and a host of helpers to take on Warworld, which was eventually destroyed when it attacked Earth. Over the years, the concept of turning other planets, including Pluto, it was still a planet back then, bless it, and Earth into new Warworlds were launched by Brainiac 13, Cyborg Superman, and others, but Superman was able to stop them every time. Number 4. The Green Lantern Power Ring Eons ago, the Guardians of the Universe crafted the power of will into a a green lantern on the planet Oa. From this energy, they created a weapon slash peacekeeping device called a green power ring, which is powered via the user's willpower and the energy from their personal green lantern. From this came the green lantern core. In the comics, the Green Lantern Corps found numerous users on Earth, including the Silver Age classic Hal Jordan. He was followed by Guy Gardner, Jon Stewart, the real MVP, Carl Rayner, and many others. It is the job of the Green Lantern Corps to police their particular sector of space, which they can do across the cosmos thanks to the ring. A Green Lantern power ring has the ability to construct anything the user can think of out of hard light. Literally anything can come into being and can be used as a weapon. It also enshrouds the user in green energy Energy, enabling them to survive in the vacuum of space and travel faster than the speed of light. Point being, it may not be the most powerful object in the DC universe, but hot damn is it the coolest. Number 3. The Mobius Chair Unlike the other items on this list, the Mobius Chair isn't necessarily a weapon, but has the power to be used as one should its users so desire. It was created by Metron of the New Gods for the purpose of accumulating all knowledge in the universe, and you know what they say, knowledge is power. The Mobius Chair really is a chair. Though it resembles resembles a throne and can float about moving sideways through space and time. It possesses the omniscient knowledge of the new gods themselves, which is endowed upon anyone sitting on it. Basically, you'd want it in your office to float around and taunt your enemies. Aha! Take that, Rich from What Culture Gaming, and you, Adam Wilborn from Wrestling, and <clears throat> You get the idea. Anyone who sits on the Mobius chair immediately knows all the knowledge in the universe across all of space and time. They know the outcome of events long before they happen, and have knowledge almost nobody has. Additionally, the Mobius chair has tracked the beams it can use to move entire planets, create and control impenetrable force fields, and even control mother boxes with ease. Number 2. The Anti-Life Equation The most powerful and certainly most dangerous weapon in all the DC universe isn't a weapon at all, but a concept. The anti-life equation is a mathematical algorithm that has a single proof. Free will is non-existent, which renders all life meaningless, hence the term anti-life equation. The secret of the equation existed among the minds of humanity, but split among all humans so that nobody ever knew it, or knew they had a chunk of it whirling around their minds somewhere. The villain known as Darkseid made it his life's goal to obtain the anti-life equation, and when he finally did, it wasn't good. If you heard the completed equation, Darkseid had complete and total control over your being. It also gave the Lord of Apocalypse a taste of immortality, control over the antimatter universe, and the ability to raise the dead. It lost a bit of its power following the Flashpoint Crisis, but remains the most powerful weapon in all the DC universe. Number 1. The Helmet of Fate The Helmet of Fate is one of three powerful magical objects created long ago by Naboo, the Lord of Order. The helmet was crafted alongside the Amulet of Anubis and the Cloak of Destiny, so the three items could be combined to grant a person the power of Dr. Fate. While the Amulet of Anubis and the Cloak of Destiny are powerful unto themselves, and the combined might of all three is certainly powerful, the Helmet is the most powerful magical artifact in the DC Universe thanks to the fact that it actually houses the spirit of Naboo, who can possess pretty much anyone who wears it. This enables anyone who dons the Helm to acquire the powers of the Lords of Order, which include everything from an intuitive knowledge of all mystical and occult spells in the universe to the ability to travel through time. The Helmet turns an average person into one of the most powerful magical users 
uses in the DC universe, and makes them look hella great while doing it. And that was our list. Did we miss any DC weapons you love? Be sure to let us know in the comments below so we can get them next time, catch it. I've been Ewan, catch my sick Dr. Claw impressions on Twitter at Ewan Ruins Things, and I'll see you next time. Bye!